Hello lovelies, welcome to my channel. My name is Laura and today we're going to talk about Marilyn Monroe's favorite face powder and I'm also going to try it for a week and let you know how it is. All right, before we jump into me actually trying her face powder, let's talk a little bit about the history of her favorite face powder. So the face powder that Marilyn Monroe loved to wear is a Max Factor face powder and it was Mr. Max Factor who transformed Norma Jean into Marilyn Monroe with an iconic beauty look that captured the hearts of the world. And back in 2015, Max Factor made Marilyn Monroe the global brand ambassador. And so in 2015, it was 80 years since Mr. Max Factor Jr. opened the doors of his Hollywood makeup studio, transforming the looks of Hollywood's elite. His most iconic client of all was Norma Jean. Norma Jean entered his blonde room in the late 1940s as a brunette, and thanks to Mr. Max Factor, emerged complete with platinum blonde hair, a beauty look fit for Marilyn Monroe. Since then, Max Factor makeup was used to create an icon in Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn made the sultry red lip, creamy skin, and dramatically lined eyes the most famous beauty look of the 1940s, and it's a look that continues to dominate the beauty and fashion industry. It is the ultimate look that defines glamour and nothing else compares. Through expert diagnosis and makeup artistry, Norma Jean's facial features were pulled out and dramatized through makeup. Her skin was creamy and flawless. The shape of her eyes were elongated through clever use of eyeliner and her lips were accentuated with a sultry red shade. Marilyn Monroe famously said, I used to think as I looked out on the Hollywood night, there must be thousands of girls sitting alone, like me, dreaming of being a movie star, but I'm not going to worry about them. I'm dreaming the hardest. With the help from Mr. Max Factor, who gave her the ultimate glamorous transformation from Norma Jean to the stunning Marilyn Monroe, could not hold her back from fulfilling her dreams. Marilyn mirrors much of what inspires Max Factor and its global network of the world's most successful makeup artists. So the Max Factor Cream Puff is a cult classic face powder and it is known for its multitasking power capabilities. And it was invented by Max Factor Jr. in 1953. It can be used as a smooth base to set your foundation or as a finishing powder over your makeup to keep the shine at bay. It's available in 11 shades with light reflecting particles for a flawless look. And a makeup artist tip is for a luminous base, apply with a small brush to set the zone or use a beauty blender to set a beautiful velvet look. So I'm gonna use mine with the Erno Lazlo Shake It Normalizer tint underneath because that's what Marilyn Monroe used and then I'm also going to use the Daydew foundation, but more as a concealer in just little spots. And then I'm going to finish the look with the Max Factor Cream Puff Press Powder and use this for a week. So let's jump right into me actually using these products for a week. Hello lovelies, so today's day one and I'm going to use Marilyn Monroe's favorite face powder. But to start, I'm going to use the Erno Laszlo Tinted Normalizer Shake It because I want to put this on underneath to see how it looks and this is what she used. So I'm going to try to kind of replicate all the products she used as the base before she added the face powder. So I'm just going to apply some of this to my skin and make sure you check out my other Marilyn video where I use her foundation and then I have another one where I actually use her entire skincare routine for a week. So I'm just adding this to my face as a nice base. And then next I am gonna try using her foundation again, except this time I'm gonna use it a bit different than I did the first time. I also have a beauty blender to try to blend it a bit. So I'm gonna get that a little bit wet and I'm just gonna use my finger and I'm gonna try to use it more as a concealer to touch up little spots that I have and try to blend it a little bit more on my face. This is kind of why I don't like the beauty blender. See, it just like absorbs everything. And then there's no foundation left. It's ridiculous. I just want to use it a little bit in certain spots. Kind of as a concealer. I still think I prefer to use my finger, to be honest, versus the blender, but people kept saying I should use the blender, so I thought, you know what, I'll give it a go. So 
I may not do this foundation every day. I just wanted to try it. Now here is the Max Factor Cream Puff Pressed Powder from 1953. And this one actually has really good coverage because I've used it before. And it's almost like a mineral foundation on its own. Where I find that it covers really well. I wish there was a little mirror built into it because I feel like it's hard to tell if I'm even absorbing it right now. I feel like it must be. I just wish I had a little up close mirror. I do like it on its own just as a nice coverage. So that is that and I think I'm just going to leave it. Add a little mascara and I think I'm good to go for the day. I'm gonna see what other brushes I have too. Maybe this one's a little big. So that's that and I'll check back with you guys later. Hello lovelies. So this is just a little check in to show you the powder. I really like the finish. I feel like it has a really nice smooth finish and good coverage. Okay, my bangs are really long and out of control. I'm getting my hair cut next week. I normally get my mom to cut my bangs, but I'm just trying to hold out so I can get like a nice cut, but they're like in my eyes. So I know that anyways, but yeah, I really like it. I think it looks really good, the coverage. So anywho, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Hello lovelies, good morning. So I'm wearing a little bit of foundation today. I'm trying the Dita Von Tees one. Make sure you check out that video. Um, I'm gonna put the powder over top and then I think tomorrow again, I'll try the Erno Lazlo underneath. I just wanted to kind of compare. So I'm just taking the powder. I use a smaller brush today to see if that helps. It's hard to tell how much I'm putting on because I'm looking into my phone right now and not a mirror. People have to remember that. Because to you, it looks like I'm looking in a mirror, but I'm actually just looking on a smaller screen. So sometimes it's actually harder to see and I don't have a mirror next to it. Because this is like inside my vanity. But because it, it's so compressed, it takes a while to like really rub it in. But I do like this powder. It's really nice. It has like nice coverage. It actually smells really good too. It's like very vintagey. I think that's pretty good. It actually mattified my face pretty nice. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of mascara. I think that's it, except I had to work and I'm gonna run late, but you can, I still have lines from sleeping. Anyways, I can see how it worked a little bit. I look pretty tired, but that's another story, I guess. Anyways, all right, I'll see you guys later today. Hello, lovely. So I kind of look like a drowned rack. I've been in the rain and all the snow is melting and it's disgusting. But I just wanted to show you my makeup. I feel like I really like this powder. It gave me like, it looks like I, I kind of have like a nice like natural shimmery glow. And I feel like it's lasted all day. I really like it. Anyways, I just wanted to like touch base. And yeah, I'm about to take a shower. And this is like after like going like on exercising, being at work all day, wearing a mask. And I feel like it's really good powder. So anyways, I just wanted to let you know. Hello lovelies, so today is Friday and I'm actually filming today. So I'm gonna put on the normalizer, shake it to start. Um, to give myself a nice base. And then I think I'll use some of Marilyn's foundation more as a concealer um, on my face and then I'll finish with the powder. So I got a decent amount here. I'm just gonna rub it all over my face. Might even add one more coat. I just want it to be nice and matte and even the coverage before I go ahead and apply the powder and everything else. So I think I'll just add a bit more just because I am filming today. So I want my skin to look extra smooth. I just got out of the shower too, so my hair's all wet. And it looks like a good amount. I feel like it does. I do like the normalizer. I feel like it does work well as a nice base. Especially if you want that no makeup look and just want something subtle. And now I'm gonna take a little bit of Marilyn's foundation. And I wanna try rubbing it. 
tried it with the beauty blender and it just wasn't working very well. So I'm just gonna use it with my hand and rub a little bit kind of on my face in certain areas I want to cover. It actually has decent coverage. Um, it's not bad. And, and it's been working better now that I didn't use the Vaseline underneath. Like it's decent with the normalizer. The only thing I don't like is the fragrance. It smells like old, like what you would imagine vintage like stage makeup to smell like. A bit on my forehead, I have bangs, so I don't really need much on my forehead, but I'll do a little bit. And then I can finish with the powder. It's actually pretty decent. And I'm gonna put a bit of concealer. This is more, it's like a cat nap. It just like helps brighten the eyes. I was gonna put Marilyn's foundation, but I prefer this because it keeps things moist. It's really good, I like it. Just to have a nice base. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of Dior concealer. I feel like still I have a few spots that the Maryland foundation didn't cover. Do a little bit under the eyes. And then, and then I guess I could always use my beauty blender to finish off the eye area. And today, I'm actually filming Marilyn's lipsticks. So I found all the different reds that she used that you can still, still buy today. So I'm excited about that. And my younger brother had COVID at Christmas, so he can come over to my parents' house to open presents. So we're actually doing like a dinner tonight because he's better now. And opening the presents, like his presents and stuff. I'm sure that happened to a lot of people probably over Christmas. So now I'm gonna use the Max Factor over top. And then I'll finish with mascara. And then when I get to my parents' house to film, I'm probably obviously gonna add like eyeshadow, stuff like that. Oh, I actually feel like this, found, this it's nice powder. It gives me a little bit of color too. Doesn't make me look so pale. It's like, it's really good. And I feel like it's lasts forever. Cause you don't need much. You just need to use a brush and apply it everywhere. So I wish it was available. Like I had to buy this one out on Amazon. But you can't really get it in the stores here in Canada. I don't know about the States. But yeah, it's like a really good powder. So that's that. I'm gonna like dry my hair and stuff, put on mascara, but I'll check back with you guys later this evening and kind of give you an update but yeah i feel like it's a nice base now and it has like nice mattifying it gives me a bit of color so anyways yeah i'll see you guys in a bit bye hello lovelies so today is saturday i'm gonna start with the shake at this time and put it on my face and then the powder and no foundation i'm actually really liking the shake it um on its own I stopped using it for a while because my skin got dry when I was doing Marilyn's like full skin care routine, but when I use it in combination with other products, I feel like it's pretty good. And it kind of helps to create that no makeup look if you just want something subtle. And I kind of like the sensation on my skin, it kind of tingles, but it just works really well in combination with the powder. And I'm kind of addicted to the tingling sensation now. So you can kind of build on the coverage. So depending on how much you want. So I kind of just rub it all over my face. Again, trying to be gentle. And as you can see, the cotton peg is very saturated. I know it says this is for all skin tones, but to be honest, I know my skin is fair. So I can't vouch for someone who had dark skin and tried to use this. To be honest, I have no idea how that would work or like let me know if you've tried it and you have a bit of darker skin I'm just not entirely sure but on the website it says it's for like all skin tones so I don't know just putting a bit of concealer on tiny bit and then I'll add a little bit of concealer some blemishes there and then I'm just gonna put the powder straight on 
I'm not gonna use Marilyn's foundation today. This tiny bit of Dior concealer. Most of the time when I'm not filming, I, my makeup's quite subtle. I just like to like do minimal with like a little powder, a tiny bit of concealer. I've been using Dita Von Teese's foundation, that Dior one, every day because I like how subtle it is and it has like serums in it so it's kind of doing a double duty. Oh no, now my neighbor is taking a shower, which sucks because now you can hear it. Anyways, try to wrap it up then. Super annoying. So now I'm gonna put on the face powder, just a little bit, and I love this powder. It has good coverage and I feel like it gives me like a nice amount of color on my skin. It gives me like a healthy glow. And it lasts like a long time. Like I'll put it on in the morning and by the end of the day, like I feel like I still have like a good finish on my face, even with the mask. And it's like slightly tinted. Kind of smells good too. I just wish it was available at drugstores. So that's that. I have like a nice finish now and I'm just gonna let it be. And just put on a tiny bit of mascara. It's like pretty minimal. Um, but yeah, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just staying home. Like, who needs like a whole face of makeup? So yeah, I'm gonna check back in a little bit with you guys. Hello, lovely. So. This is kind of the powder after working a full day, having the mask on, and like exercising on my machine. So I feel like there is a little bit of shine, but it's like really good coverage. And I'm not wearing any foundation today either. I just have the um, tinted shake it normalizer, the powder on top, and like a little bit of concealer. So yeah, I would easily do this on days where I didn't want to wear foundation and I just want something minimal. And I feel like the Shake It Tint It worked really well with the shine and everything. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed so far. Um, yeah, I like it so far. It's a really good powder. And I feel like it's less messy than the loose powders because you just like brush it on. And the loose powders can get everywhere. I'm starting to notice, at least when I apply them. But I tend to be on the messier side with things. I don't know why, but I just am. So anyways, I would definitely continue using it so far. I like it. Hello lovely, so this is after a full day. I feel like my skin looks pretty good still. I have a few blemishes, but I'm not wearing any foundation or anything like that, just the powder. And I feel like it gives a really nice finish and my skin still looks pretty matte. So I'll give you one final update tomorrow because tomorrow is the last day. All right, have a good night, bye. Good morning lovely. So I'm just getting, getting ready to film right now. And I'm going to put on the Shake It Normalizer. I'm loving this now with powder. It's really good. Just to apply it on your face. I'm doing a little bit gently. This is like my go-to look when I'm like, I don't necessarily want to wear foundation and I just want something simple. Or you could put foundation over top of this, but this works really well for getting rid of shine. And it works as a nice base. So I'm just going to keep applying it. I'm going to apply the Marilyn foundation just as some concealer in a few spots. Because I don't like it as an overall foundation on my face. I feel like it's very thick and heavy. But it has good coverage. As a concealer, sort of on certain spots. I definitely don't want it all over because it's too much for me. And I just like to gently do it with my finger. I tried the sponge, but it wasn't really, it would just absorb all of it up onto the sponge, like beauty blender, and it just wasn't working. So it's easier for me to gently use my fingers and apply it on my face and just kind of smooth it over. 
like that. I just really hate the smell. It smells like like old costume makeup. And then to finish, I'm just gonna do the Max Factor powder. And this powder has really good coverage. So I just put it all over with the brush. It almost doubles as a very light mineral foundation and gives my face a little bit of color and mattifies as you can see. And then on most days I can just do this and then add a tiny bit of mascara and then I'm good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and go film and then I'll check back with you guys in a bit. So right now I'm wearing the Cream Puff Face Powder and underneath I have the Normalizer Shake It Tint It. And then for concealer, I have the Day Dew foundation just in a few spots on my face. I'm just going to do a final touch up so you can kind of see how it goes on. But I really like this powder. I'm quite impressed with it. I almost like it more than the Cody Airspun now because it's less messy when I'm applying it. And I kind of like that it gives my skin a little bit of a tint. So it doesn't make me look so pale, but that could be just because I got a darker shade because it was a little bit on the darker side. But I feel like a little goes a long way with it too. Um, you really don't need much. And I feel like this would last me like, I don't know, maybe a year or two even. Like it's a really nice powder and it works really well as just some, I think very subtle. If you don't wanna wear like a lot of foundation or anything and you just want like a quick look, you could do the normalizer, bit of mascara, and then just quickly powder your face with this. And I feel like you have like a really nice, daytime look i know with the normalizer though they said this is for all skin tones but i don't know how it would be on darker skin tones i've only tested on my own so i can't speak for that but i know that the cream puff does come in 11 shades so i'm hoping there's some darker shades too for people with different skin tones to try but i really like it um you can get it on amazon if you are interested i'll link it below but I'm quite impressed with it. I think I'll continue using it. I also like that it's just not very messy. I find with the loose powder, it does get everywhere. Um, at least for me, when I'm applying it, this is a lot easier and you can put it in your purse. So I like it for that. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know who you want me to cover next. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.